Sometimes securing your WordPress site can be as simple as installing a plugin. But after it's installed, then you're left scratching your head as to what needs to be done with the settings on that plugin. Some of these security plugins can be a total headache if you check the wrong box or click on the wrong button, your site can easily go up in smoke. So this video will show you how to configure the plugin named Better WP Security, and we're going to do this in less than five minutes. So first, let's go ahead and install, then activate the plugin. So we do that by logging into our dashboard area, which I've already done. And if you've not done that, then just go to your URL forward slash wp-admin or wp-login.php. And if you've not logged in in a while, then it will prompt you to do so by popping up a little box here asking for your username and password. Then once you've entered that, then you are going to end up on this page here. Then you want to come on over to Plugins, go to Add New. Then we just type in the search box here, Better WP Security. Click on Search Plugins, and that'll take us to the WordPress.org plugin repository, where in most cases, it'll be the first one that shows up here. Click on Install Now. Are you sure? Yes. Then click on Activate Plugin. And at this point, we can either click on Settings here, or security here. In either case, we'll end up in the same spot. But before we do that, I wanna bring in our little timer here so we can do everything under the five minute mark. So let's go ahead and click on the timer. Go to security. Now at this point, since you've already done a full backup, hint, hint, of both your files and your database, and you can go ahead and skip this. But if you do click on this, then you're, you're going to get the email sent to this email address here that contains your database backup. Let's go ahead and click on no thanks. I already have a backup. That'll bring us to this page here where you can allow this plugin to change WordPress core files. I would say yes. And then at this point, secure my site from basic attacks. This would be the easiest and best way and what I will recommend you do. But before we do that, let me just uh, go to no thanks and show you what it looks like first off. Now we've got these different colors here, red, blue, orange, and green. We really want to shoot for green across the board, but that's not always going to happen. Actually, rarely will it happen. You'll get a most of them to be green, but you definitely want to get rid of the red, and you want to try to get these guys to either go to blue or green. Here's a little color code down here to tell you what each one is. So right off the bat, if we go back and click on secure my site, basically let the plugin do its job, you'll see right away that a lot of those reds have already been changed. Now then you can go and click on the individual links here to change those reds into green or at least ways closer to green being orange or blue. Now the orange ones here, come on down here, they're partially secured and turn on more options to fully secure these areas. There's a good chance that most all these oranges can be turned into green. The thing I want to point out though is that the blue items, they're not fully secured, but might conflict with other themes, plugins, or other things you got going on on your site. So that's where the database backup is going to come in handy. If for some reason you're going to be bold and shoot for green across the board, hey, more power to you. But know this, that if you do break something, you've got an easy fix. Well, let me show you that real quick here. You want to log into your cPanel control panel. Come on down to the PHP My Admin. And you want to make sure you're getting into the proper database. And at this point, you want to check all. And go over here to with selected. Click on drop. That's going to delete all of these guys. And once you do that, then you come on up here to import. Navigate to the location of that database, not the entire file zip, but the database that you downloaded earlier, and then upload that, click on go, and then that will replace all of these uh, tables here, one of which will be screwed up because of what you did on the plugin stuff here. Then you just refresh this page and you'll be back to where you were prior to clicking on that link that made things go wonky on you. So that's how you can fix what would have been broken had you been bold and gone for green across the board. But at the very least, you want to get rid of all the reds. 
For example, if we go here, let's say admin user, put in a different username here, click on change admin user, and done. Click on user or change user ID. You don't want to have the one ID in there. Now, if we come on back to the dashboard, oh, okay, that one still exists, but we did get rid of that one. Let's get rid of this one here because to do that, it required us to log back in. Now, if we come on back to the dashboard, you can see that one's not green, and that's basically what you want to do. Just go on down here and at least ways get rid of all the reds, and you want to shoot for getting rid of the oranges. But if you only have blue and green left, then you're in good shape. One other thing I want to point out is down here under System Tweaks, which will get rid of a lot of the oranges and the blues. Any of these yellow ones here, you want to be wary of because they can mess things up. So I would go one at a time. Click on one, save changes, check your site. If it still works, you're in good shape. And again, if you break something, just come on into your... PHP My Admin from your control panel, replace your broken database with your backed up database and you'll be in good shape. And we did all that under five minutes.